and this is Ken Townsend. And this is the Worship Cafe Inspirational Radio Show. On WCIR Network. Today we have a couple guests. Um, They're from a group called Secondary Citizens. And their names are Lee Sheffers and Tim Williams. Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Hey, hey, how's it everyone? Uh, We're doing really well. Um, (laughs) Excited to have you all the way from Africa to talk to us about your music. Wow, that's great, from Africa. Yep. (laughs) Is that that Cape Town, you said? Cape Town? Cape Town, correct. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. So would you be willing to start off the program with a prayer? Uh, Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Great. Lord, thank you uh, for this opportunity to come before your throne, Father. Lord, even... As we gather around our technology um, and allows us to glorify you. So, Lord, we thank you, Father, that even as the show is about to happen, that you have gone out before us and you prepare the way for us. And as your word is lifted up, Father, that you will draw all men unto you. So, Lord, we give you all the honor, we give you all the glory, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, um, how did you guys come together to um, get into ministry together? How did this all come about? Uh, um, well, let's see. I, I um, I them joined a couple of years after I did, um, but we we initially we kicked it off um, as friends very quickly because uh, we like the same brand of music, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was that was the start. Um, from there on, um, uh, we ended up in different ministries altogether, um, but we still remain friends outside of that. And I think that was such an important thing for us, um, that we were still able to connect outside of that. Um, so we, we try not to let the church boundaries um, and clicks, so to speak, uh, mm-hmm. keep us from, from spending time with one another. And it was with that that I also bumped into two of our other uh, friends, uh, which are also our bandmates who couldn't be this evening with us. Um, and we just kicked it off from there. Um, what would you say, Tim? Um, yeah, um, I wasn't originally from Cape Town. I actually moved here mm-hmm. and uh, I joined the church. And as God, as it, as it works out for you, 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 you start to use your gift. And uh, we, we joined a band together, um, Lee and I, mm-hmm. and we stayed in contact all these years. And when Lee gave me a call to say, he's got these great songs that he wants to work on, yeah. and would I be willing to come and play with him? I said, yeah, obviously. And so we got together, and now we're in full swing. So what do you guys play? Um what does Lee play and what does Tim play? Do you both sing? All right. So I initially started on an acoustic guitar. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I became, well, I was nominated to become the bassist in, in the worship ministry that I was at. Mm-hmm. Um, and initially I, I, I did not like the idea of being a bassist. Um, <laughs> but as, as time went by, um, I started to fall in love with the instrument. Um, I learned to play the instrument quite late. I think I was 23. So um, every other musician I know, they've all started at the age of five or seven. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was 23 when I picked up a guitar for the first time. And um, I wasn't able to write material at the time. And from there onwards, I just journaled over the years journaled over the years and I was working at a job at, at uh, the airport and every morning on my shift I would just journal and I think about must have been about five years after I'd been working I looked at all this material that I had and I said man this would make some great music and um, from there onwards I just started pinning these things started learning basic guitar chords and and this and from there onwards it became a song, um, so I've took I've taken years to to craft them and to to, to learn the art of of writing, 
Um, so I could I could definitely say it's taken about ten years. Uh, so I am thirty. I'm thirty six now. You know, and only now these songs are coming out. But I believe it is God's perfect timing. Um, and that is when I called them. I called them up at the end of last year mm-hmm. um, to say, Tim, I've got, I've got these bunch of songs that I've written over the years. Uh, let's put some stuff together, you know. And I knew Tim was a guitar shader. Mm-hmm. So um, I knew he had the skill to do it. And over, over the years, then I've also become the dedicated bass player. So I am officially the bassist <laughs> and the vocalist of the band. And the vocalist. <laughs> Cool. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about some music that you've um, chosen that inspires you. Um, one of the songs mm. is called God's Not Dead by the Newsboys. Yes. What do you want to share about that song? Uh, basically, for me, uh, the song God's Not Dead, it's when I gave my life to the Lord. Uh-huh. You know, um, mm-hmm. I heard the song quite recently but I've been I gave my heart to the Lord when I was about 17 uh-huh. and I can relate the lyrics of that song to when I gave my heart to the Lord and it, it was so real and, and so um, tangible you know I, I still remember the day um, I heard an audible voice call me mm-hmm. um, and initially I thought it was my mom you know um, and every time I asked my mom well uh, what is it? And then I think she must have realized what, what had happened, you know. And then uh, after the third time that it happened, I just broke down. And oh. kind of, um, I think all the tears that I possibly had. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so, so the lyrics of that song really speaks to me because uh, I know without a shadow of a doubt that God is not dead. Oh, and when I heard that, and when I heard the Newsboys version of that song, man, something on the inside of me just jumped. Music is powerful. That's that's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's listen to the song "God's Not Dead" by the Newsboys. Shake 
the ground with the sound of revival. Let heaven roar and fire fall. Come shake the ground with the sound of revival. to hear your story about how that led you to the Lord. Mm. Yeah, so, I love the pick. Yeah, that's a good song. <laughs> Thanks so much. So there's another song that you chose called Extreme Days by Toby Mac. Yes. What did you want to uh, share about that song? Um, that song came about uh, when I was about... I have, to, I have to go back a couple of years. Okay. I was uh, 20. I was 20 years old okay. when I heard that song for the first time. Um, and by that time, I had gone from, um, I think, let me just get it, I have to get it right. Um, I'd gone through a phase where I listened to very mellow music, if you will. And that song came about when I was looking for something very different, um, and I think that song came came at just the right time in my life. Um, I, I was such a big fan of DC Talk over the years, you know, mm-hmm. um, with the Jesus Freak album and um, Toby Mac in, in, in the band. And when that song came about, it just shook everything around me and, and it made me realize that, you know what, um, sometimes uh, there's a verse in the Bible that says, um, the kingdom of God suffers violence, but by, the violent take it by force. And um, to me, this song was a reflection of that. Um, so so much so that I think I became more bold in my walk with God after after this. And this is really what inspired that. And it inspired me to be myself. Uh, I, I come from a group of friends who at the time weren't listening to that style of music. Uh-huh. And um, it just it, it made me feel alive. It made me feel comfortable in my own skin. Um, knowing that uh, the the were people that I could relate to that was doing that kind of that those kind of songs, mm. so um, that was definitely what that song did for me at that time in my life, uh, at the age of twenty. That's that's awesome, and I feel that too. I, I love listening to different artists and um, how God will use them to, mm. you know, first off the first song was to leading you to the Lord, but this. The, the second song is as far as opening doors for you to see a little reflection of maybe your own style and, and another artist. That's pretty yeah. cool. Let's listen to this song called Extreme Days by Toby Mac. We're living, we're living, we're living in extreme days. Take my trip and you can bust your 
there saw a kid Who flipped his hat to the back and he called it a lid You know what else he did? He stacked books from the floor to the ceiling Said something about trying to get to heaven He was only 11 But he climbed to the top with outstretched arms And he screamed at the top of his lungs Move out my way, give up the night Wow, that was really cool. Um, I like that song, and I, I it's very true to today, because I think we are living in extreme days. It seems like people are so, so extreme, and yes. we, need, we need the Lord. We really need the Lord with all our hearts to, to guide yeah. us through those things. Yeah, that was pretty radical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Both of, are, both of them are both of are both rock and rollers by heart. Mm-hmm. That's a that's, it's really upbeat, but it's really radical. I yeah, mean, all I the, liked it. I really did. <laughs> definitely different. Yeah, it but was good. in a good way. Yep. Um, ah. So there's another song you wanted to share called um, "Made to Love" by Toby Mac. Yes. Yeah. Can I share with you guys what that song means to me? Sure. Yes. Uh, uh, this is Tim, by the way. Okay, Tim. <laughs> okay, Tim. <laughs> yeah, mate, mate, love you. Is, uh, I like the, the lyrics of the song, which starts off with talking about uh, fading dreams. Mm. And um, really what that happens, sometimes we have dreams for ourselves when, we, when we're really young. And it's not always in line with God's plan for our lives because we didn't consult him. Mm. And... Um, you grow older and you realize that, that life doesn't really work the way you thought it was supposed to work. And things start getting very real. And um, we tend to, to go through life thinking, well, why am I here? You know, you try to find your identity, you try to find your purpose. And if you're a child of God, you, you, you get more specific about it. And you ask, well, why did God make me? And this song really, in the chorus, gets there when it says about, I was... I was made to love you and I was I was made to find God and I was made just for him and we were made for his presence and made for his purposes and to just be loved by him and to love him. And, uh, you know, God didn't make us, you know, sometimes we think God is, is, a, is a kid with an ant farm. You know, people tend to think that way about God, but God is so much more than that. God Amen. made us so that he can enjoy us and so that we can enjoy him. And... Uh, that's what I think this song means to me. It really goes there and and really hits the, the nail on the head about why we are here. And when you when you get to that place where you realize I'm I'm made for God's love and for his purposes, mm-hmm. the other kind of things tend to sort themselves out. Like the verse says, you know, seek you first the kingdom of God and all these other things tend to work out for your good. That's why I really like this song for that. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. That was so um, beautiful what you just shared and very um, sincere. Let's listen to this song called Made to Love by Toby Mac. The dream is fading now I'm staring at the door. I know it's over cause my feet have hit the cold floor Check my reflection, I ain't feeling what I see It's no mystery Whatever happened to a passion I could live for What became of the flame that made me feel more And when did I forget That I was made to love you, I was made to find you I was made just for you My eyes open wide Back in the ring you got 
got me swinging for the grand prize I feel the haters spitting vapors on my dreams But I still believe I'm reaching out, reaching up, reaching over I feel the breeze cover me, call Jehovah enjoyed that song especially the there's one section that got like really dynamic and uh got a little bit um like atmospheric in the middle there's a bridge there that i really enjoyed Mm -hmm. and um i have to admit that um i love the message of that song so oh absolutely yeah so um kudos and thanks tim for uh explaining that what it meant to you so we're going to be talking about some of your music now. This is a song that you wrote called Lost in You um, by Secondary Citizen, which is the name of your group. Um, what would you like to share about this song that you're, you guys recorded? Uh, yeah, uh, let me speak about uh, the name Secondary Citizens, first of all. Okay. Uh, the name Secondary Citizens really is twofold. Um, with the first part being the scripture in John 17, uh, where it says that uh, we are in the world, but we are not of the world. Right. And um, when, the, when the four of us, uh, the band members, when we got together, that really became the, the heart of, uh, of, for, you know, our heart for the band. Right. You know? Uh-huh. Um, and and we, really want to, we really want to establish that. Um, and to make that uh, the focus of who we are, uh, and then the so so our identity is is found in that scripture really, and then the second part of that song is, or oh, so the the second part of the name of of of, of uh, secondary citizens mm-hmm. is in uh, James one verse twenty seven, which speaks of um, you know true religion is this to take care of the orphans and the widows, you know. And uh, the second part to the name Secondary Citizens is that we would love to cater for 
the widows, the orphans, the, the forgotten people of our generation, the homeless, you know. Yes. Um, and one of the things that we really, we, we envision to do is when we have gigs, instead of asking um, what would be, I suppose, in, in our currency, mm-hmm. uh, 80 bucks for a gig, uh, we'd ask for something like 20 bucks a gig. And part of the entrance fee would be to bring a blanket or canned food or socks or beanies, uh, gloves, those kind of things. And then we just, uh, after the gig or the day after, Mm -hmm. um, donate those items to charities or we go to the streets ourselves and to to give out these these items to to the homeless and to the various uh, various charities. Um, That is a a big part of who we are as a band. Um, so uh, we would love for this to become or we would love to be known for, for these kind of things you know instead of just being a good band mm-hmm. or a band that is tight that everybody wants to see that makes good music we would like to be the band that also goes out there and um, be Christians where the rubber hits the road you know we, because uh, being a Christian is being a Christian is about Real issues, you know, real people. You're dealing with real people in this life, and Amen. and people have real, and people have real problems. You know, right. some people you know, we might have parents suffering from diseases like cancer or and and and, and other you know other diseases. Um, so it's not just about the great music. It's because Jesus is real, you know, and people need that. Mm-hmm. Um, so if we we need to be the ones that are reaching out to, to those people. Right. Uh, and if you're not doing it, who's going to do it, you know? Um, so that is, that, is, that is outside of the music for us as a band. Mm-hmm. And we really endeavor to, to do those kind of things. Um, and when it comes, uh, I suppose, this is where we then come to the song. Um, the song, really, uh, like I said earlier, uh, I w- I've been journaling for years. Um, so I was on a what can I call it, a school camp, um, probably elementary school in, um, in, 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 your, in your side of the world. Uh, it was a Christian camp. Uh, and I remember uh, there was a session where we had a, a band play and uh, it, was, it was, you know, worship. And what that happened was I closed my eyes and I saw this vision. And in this vision, there was this thick fog and every time I would open my eyes, I would see, but everybody's everybody's here. Um, but when I close my eyes, I didn't get taken away to this place. So I was I was in in the middle of a vision, mm-hmm. and um, in this vision there was this there was this person standing in this fog, and I couldn't make up his face, but I could definitely tell that it was Jesus, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and every time he would just call me. He would call me closer with his hands, but he wouldn't. He wouldn't say anything, you know. And every time I would take a step further into the fog, he would take a step deeper into the fog, as as if to say, "Come and follow me. Come after me. Mm-hmm. Try and reach out, grab my hand." And um, I then that was so that that was then. And then over the years, as I was journaling, I remember writing. I, I was writing these things down, and in. I think in the year 2009, which is about 10 years ago, mm-hmm. I, I, found, I found the the journal, and I was going through the journal, and by this time I had started playing acoustic guitar, and I had this, and I was going through the journal, and I found these words that I had written down, and I thought to myself, man, this would make a great song, you know, and I, and I, I knew the simple chords, and I started jamming, started playing, mm-hmm. and I wasn't part of a band at the time. Uh, so I just kept it, kept working on it. I kept working on it, and um, at the beginning of last year, I mustered up the courage. I spoke to my wife. Uh, I said, "Man, I feel that we need to record the song." I played it to a friend of mine who owns a studio, and when he heard it, he said to me, "Man, you you really need to record the song because there's something about it," uh-huh. and. Um, I was so blessed because he told me that I can use his studio at a at a cheaper rate. Uh, so um, in on 
in our currency that that's about four thousand bucks for the day. Right. Uh, so he gave it to me. He gave me the day at the day rate of a uh, one and a half thousand. Um, so we were able to afford that. So it was less than half of what his rate is. Yeah. And I went into the studio uh, that 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 morning, and uh, the guy that was supposed to play. Uh, one of the guys, I remember one of the guys didn't rock up. So I was left with myself, <laughs> Liz, Liz on drums, yeah. and then Frank, who was, 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 was the owner of the studio. Mm-hmm. Um, and we, we laid down the drums. Um, I then laid down the bass. And while we're waiting, Frank said to me, uh, let's record the vocals, you know? Mm-hmm. And as we as we did the vocals, he told me he uh, and I think I think every studio a recording engineer does this where they say let's let's do a practice run uh-huh. and unbeknownst to you you know you'll press the record button and you'll just let it run you know and what happens is so during the stake uh, while we're recording this practice run um, man I just I just felt the tears come down my face and I was in such a moment and. Uh, this song that, that you have that you have in front of you on your system over there mm-hmm. is one vocal tick. That's one drum tick. That's one bass guitar tick. That is one uh, guitar tick. Everything there is one tick. Um, and it was such a moment in studio that we all just kind of looked at each other and we were like, what is going on here? You know? Mm-hmm. And... Uh, I tried to man up, I tried to hide the tears, you know, they say uh, boys don't cry. But man, I was so overwhelmed by the presence of God, and it was such a wonderful moment. Um, and, and I'm sure I'm sure Tim has a different a different a different point of view for, for what the song means to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tim, you're gonna share with us. Uh, yeah, when when I listened to Lost in You, I wasn't there for the for the original recording of the song or writing, but um, I've, I've had the privilege of enjoying it for the past couple of months, and I, I always see myself in in space, just falling like almost into a black hole. But it's it's not in a negative way. It's 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 the black hole is Jesus. You're just falling into him, and it's such a safe feeling that you get. Um, yeah. Hence the the lost in you, and because you know. When you when you're a child of God, you it's all about the relationship with God, isn't it? Amen. And uh, yes. And God wants you to God wants you to just keep the conversation going. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down, like any other relationship. But you have to you have to keep getting to know God. You have to keep spending time with Him. And the more time you spend with Him, the more of Him you want, because you realize how good God really is, and you realize how much he really loves you and you realize how much he actually cares even about the little things in your life. Absolutely. And so, and as, as I'm, as I'm listening to, mm-hmm. and even playing lost in you, I, I just see myself falling into Jesus, just getting lost in that black hole of his, of his goodness. And, um, and yeah, that's what it really means to me. I, I just, I, I enjoy it just for that reason. It just takes me there. <laughs> mm-hmm. <Aww>. That's great. <laughs> Let's listen to this song they wrote um, called Lost in You. I see you. You see me through all of your holiness. Through all of your holiness. You know. 
very nice. Lee, I like your voice. Yeah, I love your, I love your voice. Yeah. I mean, I, I love the whole, the whole song. I, I think you're going on my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> I mean, I almost cried listening to that because I just love the mood and the feeling of it and um, just the whole craftsmanship of what you did and what you expressed, mm-hmm. the message, all of it. Yeah. Thank thank you so much, Kim. And the dynamics. I mean, I heard all of it. I felt all of it. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, kudos to you, too. Yes, you did a wonderful job. And there's other people playing on there, too, right? I I, I wish you guys could see our places right now. (laughs) (laughs) So, we have some more music to share from um, you guys um, about your story, Another song called All I Need Is You by Hillsong United. Um, what did you want to share about that song? Uh, this is Tim's this is yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. all, all I Need Is You is, is um, the message for me is really simple. Is It's about that relationship with God and just getting to know His goodness. And the more you know God, the more you realize that you don't really need anything else. You don't. All the, un, uh, the unconditional love you will ever need you can get from God. All the unconditional acceptance you can ever need, you'll get from God. Amen. And when you when you get to know God, you realize that He is is it's not just God. He's also your Father, and He wants to be that loving Father who is very patient and slow to anger. Even when you fail in life and you make mistakes, God is that loving Father who understands, and He'll He'll just stand there and He'll understand why you did what you did or why you're going through what you're going through, and he'll help you through it like any good father would. And um, that's all we ever need. That's all we really do need is just somebody who would be there for us in that way. And that's that's how that song blesses me every time I, I listen to it. Absolutely. Um, and I love this song, too. Let's listen to this song called All I Need Is You by Hillsong. All I need is you
So guys, how can our audience find you? Um, where are you in um, social networks oh. or on, on the internet? Um, how, would, how can they find your music? If they want to find us, they can find us on Instagram, uh, Twitter. We're on Facebook as well. Our handle is the at signal. So it's at SC band CPT. Okay, great. Um, and and we yeah they can also find us on iTunes and Spotify, okay. uh, Amazon as well. Um, but we're available on every available um, music distribution or listening listening um, so streaming platform uh, that the listeners use. Uh, they should find our pages there. But uh, we we most active on Spotify at the moment. Um, okay. So. We're also heading into studio in the next two months or so to finish off what would hopefully be a five-tech EP. So by in the middle of your summer, we're looking to release a another another single. Uh, I think this one's going to be a fun one. Uh, we excited about it. Um, so and I know when we excited about something, the listeners will be excited about that as well. Absolutely. And we'll be praying for you guys. We're so excited that you're um, on this journey together and that God brought you guys together to serve him and with music and worship. Um, so there's one more song you wanted to share, and it was called Oceans by United yeah. Hillsong. Um, what did you want to share about that? Uh, I'll, I'll definitely go for that one. Uh, Oceans is, is a song that, um, man, I think... Uh, today, my wife and I were celebrating our fourth wedding anniversary. Oh! And um, congratulations! So, <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, but uh, over the last four years, uh, I can definitely say we've we've gotten to the point where it feels like every day we're going out there, we're stepping out in faith. Uh, we just, um, as the lyrics would uh, speak as well, going out, and walking on the water. Um, mm-hmm. We're going off the cars, and um, she's also started her own company, so she's got an architectural firm. Um, so finding business is, is is a hassle, and it's a big job, you know? Yes. So every day, every day feels like we are going out there, walking on water, and the wind is just howling. And But, you know, we're trusting Jesus that he will just keep our hand, that he'll just keep it, and he'll, he'll meet us where we're at. Um, so this song is particularly relevant to, to where we are currently uh, with, with, with regards to um, celebrating our fourth anniversary. Um, and that is, it's so, it's, it's so cool to see how God has carried us to this point. And I think everything is just a testament, a testimony of what he's brought us through and where he's got us right now and what we see and, and, and trusting where he'll take us. Uh, so that is something that is uh, incredible to to experience. It feels like a roller coaster ride on most days, uh, mm-hmm. I have to admit. Um, mm-hmm. But I'm so grateful for for my wife. Who, when I feel like I want to throw in the towel, she'll be the one that says, "Man, we've come this far. We don't give up now." She'll be the one to build me up. She'll be the one to say, "We can do this." You know. So I'm I'm very grateful. Mm-hmm. Um, and this song is just. Um, I think this song speaks to speaks very loudly to where we are as 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 a ministry team as well, uh, where we find ourselves in our walk with God. Uh, so, I would like to dedicate the song to my wife, who's Aww. listening, who's like staring at me from <laughs> across the table, laughing at me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet. <laughs> so, I want to thank you guys for being guests on the show. Yeah, and- thank you. And um, thank, you, for thank sure. you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, we really, we really enjoyed hearing you and hearing your stories and um, about what God has been doing in your life. And um, love uh, your song. Absolutely. Thank, thank you so much, thank Kim. You thank much. you so much. Soon, hopefully, we'll, we'll we'll be able to come over to the. Hopefully, we'll be able to come over to to the U.S. Um, and share songs in person. <laughs> you know that 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 would be a dream for us. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, and I know that nothing is impossible with God. So. We're holding up to that, man. That's right. All things are possible. Uh, That is so true. 
Um, so as Amen. we're as we're listening out, um, we're going to listen to this song called Oceans by Hillsong United. I love this song so much, and um, pray everyone has a blessed week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so very much. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <Yeah. laughs> Speak.